Here we have Gina working with Ben. She has a letter from her auntie in Italian on a CCTV enlarged. And she has her iPad and she's downloaded an app to translate from Italian to English. And she's just setting it up now. And her task today is to type the letter <laughs> from trying to decipher her auntie's Italian scrawl onto her iPad so she can translate the letter into English. This task took a really, really long time because the writing was very difficult to understand and unless you got it exactly right, the translation wouldn't really work. It ended up being a little bit of creative guessing on Ben's part, I think. Okay, I have a new iPad. And I found out that it can translate from English into other languages from all around the world. And my family are from Italy. I'm Italian. My auntie, she sent me a letter. It was a present actually. It was a photo of herself and with it was a letter. But it was written in Italian and I couldn't understand it. So I decided that I'd type the letter in Italian onto my iPad and translate it into English so that I could read it. But the exercise was very hard because when I used the translation app, the text was very, very small and I couldn't enlarge it. I ended up having to attach a separate keyboard, but it was a very tricky process. Then I decided to type my own letter to my auntie in English and translate it back to Italian. Gina realised after all that that she didn't have her auntie's address in Italy. The photo that she received was in a package and the package got thrown out along with the address of, for her auntie. But then her sister said that she had her, e the, her auntie's email address. So Gina's sending an, a request to her sister to... Um, give her the email address of her auntie. Okay, now Jenny, I know you have lots and lots and lots of photos in your iPad. Yes, I actually want to select uh, just a few photos to send to my auntie. Which ones do you think you'll select? Well, I know that when I saw the photo of my auntie, she looks exactly like I look now. We have exactly the same face. When was the last time you saw your auntie? I haven't seen her for a very, very, very long time. Actually, it was 16 years ago that I saw my auntie. Uh, did your auntie come to Australia? Not, no, not at that time. My auntie came to Australia 20 years ago. She came to visit her sister. Um, her sister is actually my mother, and my mother was very sick. So my auntie came to visit my mother, and that was 20 years ago. And then I went overseas four years after that with my father and my sister. And we visited my auntie then at that time. We had a little holiday in Italy. So 
So the last time I've, I've seen my auntie was 16 years ago. It's a long time. So now that I know that I can translate from Italian to English and, and back again, I think that I can have ongoing communication with my aunt. I'm, I'm really excited about the opportunity that this is providing me. Yes, it's fantastic. Okay, now let's try and get this text bigger. <laughs> 